All right, we got our new electric lunchbox today. Pretty excited. Hopefully it works better than my last one did. My last one was barely 30 watts. This one says it's 60 watts. So if it, if in fact it's 60 watts, we'll find out because I'm fixing to plug it in in a few minutes. But super excited. My last one didn't, my last one barely warmed up anything. So let's get into it. Let's unpack it. So it comes in a nice little carrying case. Seems to be good quality. It's got a nice little spot to hold your napkins or utensils or whatever you want to put in there. The bag is good quality compared to the one that I bought at um, Home Goods. And I did get the dark one. I would have preferred a black one, but they don't have them. Supposed to be silverware for your place for your silverware. And then over here, it's got your 12 volt and your 110. Okay, awesome. And it does have a little steam outlet right here. So you can let steam off before you open it up so you don't burn yourself. Comes with a little bowl. It does come with your uh, DC and your AC plug. Comes with full size silverware, yay. Just when I needed a fork, y'all. I don't know what I did with my other fork. Um, and a nice spoon. And comes with directions, a little book. I like that this can come out for easy cleanup so you don't have to worry about exposing that to any type of water. So let's hook this baby up and see what she's working with. Okay, so we're gonna do the AC plug first to see if the wattage, what the wattage is reading on it. supposed to be 60 watts that's way higher than 60 watts and as you can see it is plugged in Maybe that's just the initial, I don't know. I'm real big on things being the watts that they say they should be. So it's winding down. So we'll see, maybe it'll go all the way back down to 60 watts, but that was a high wattage jump. So let's just chill for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. It's down to 77. So I'm guessing it's between 75 to 80 watts they do have one that is an 80 watt machine and um i'm just wondering maybe if they sent me that one right now it's staying steady at 75 watts and the sucker is super super hot i don't want to touch my hand to it but on the ac it is running well it's down to 73 now so we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in the dc and see if the charge is any different all right so let's put in the dc plug so now we've got it plugged into the DC plug and let's turn it on. Okay, so I'm guessing, this is just my opinion, it's going to stay between 75 and 80, maybe 85 watts. Um, and I'm okay with that. The only difference is, is it will get a little hotter, a little quicker. 
um, compared to the Hot Logic oven is the Hot Logic stays at a consistent 30 all the way across the board. That's why you can bake in it for hours. I do believe you can bake in these as well. It's just going to take you because these are higher watts. You should be able to cook um, raw meat in here. You should be able to just leave it in a little less time than you would a Hot Logic. So anyway, I hope this review helps somebody. It is made of some good, it's made of really good quality. The outside is a little warm, so be sure you set it on something. But other than that, yeah, so we'll try it out tonight. Y'all have a good day. So it's charging at 82 watts. I just put it in there, so we'll see how long it takes it to heat up and if it really gets it hot. So here we go. Okay, and so to end the review of my new little electric food warmer, it got extremely hot, melted everything. The meat, the brisket is super hot on the inside of the enchilados, and I am super happy with it. It took the v and battery all the way down to 68%, and it took about an hour and a half. So anyway, I give it a eight out of 10. Awesome.